I'll ask you, is code review a compliance task or a productive task? Do you see it as something which is really aiding the productivity of your team? Or do you see it as something which is getting in the way of the productivity of your team? Because if you see it as a way of getting in the way of the productivity of your team, you don't really understand what it's about, or about what it's trying to achieve. Okay, so what is code review trying to achieve? It's, it's trying to achieve several things. Um, obviously, everything relates to the quality that you're trying to achieve in your code. You know, how, how is code review benefiting the quality of the code? Well, it's doing it in several ways. First, obviously, you're trying to find defects. And, you know, if, um, if you find defects, all well and good. But there are unit tests and, and other mechanisms to find defects, probably that are even more effective than code reviews. So what else is it doing? Well, it's a social gathering of your team. It allows your team to discuss all sorts of things in a group. And it allows it to be focused. So by, by having a piece of code that you're looking at, or a unit, or a, a class of some description, you can be focused on that particular class and figure out what it should be doing, how it should be doing it, um, and, and broaden the conversation to beyond things like syntax checking, which I've seen in the past. You're not there to discuss, you know, what the code should look like or what the coding standards uh, should be. You, you really need to be looking at the functionality of the code, um, the architecture of the code, these kinds of things which really um, are not ideally suited to uh, a single programmer developing. I'd like to discuss something about what code review isn't. Um, code review isn't an opportunity to rag on some developer. It isn't an opportunity to do a performance review on someone. That's really against the spirit of what a code review is all about. It's about improving the quality of your software. It's not about punishing some developer who has made some kind of mistake. In order to improve quality in terms of functionality, you really do need unit tests. Those are the final arbiter of whether something really does what it should be doing. It's, uh, code review is, is not really... Um, well, I mean, obviously it can be used for, to, 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 to um, find defects. Um, and obviously you, you, you want to be able to do a code review and review all of the tests at the same time to make sure that the tests are covering all of the cases. So, yes, obviously code review has the function of making sure that all of the necessary tests have been written, um, or as many as uh, the other test members believe that should be written. However, it's also an opportunity to have a look at how the unit has been designed, um, look at the interfaces, look at uh, how, how it has been structured internally, and also to discuss how, uh, with other developers, how, how else it could have been designed, uh, and how else it could have been written. Um, and that way, developers can learn from other developers. I mean, it's, it's a matter of sharing skills between each other. You, you have to code review enables you to get into the same room and to be discussing uh, important issues of, of uh, coding. Um, it's good to be able to do that between senior developers, but it's also good to be able to do this between senior and junior developers. In other words, you want to be able to share your skills and share your knowledge between your top developers and your junior developers, because how else are they going to learn? Um, I don't think they seriously learn in university, at least not the um, not the important skills. I mean, they learn the technologies, perhaps, and and some of the more abstract concepts. However, they, in order for junior developers to develop um, and become better, they really need to have close contact with uh, their other other teammates. They need to have contact with the senior developers who have been there for years. And it's through that, it's through that process of um, discussing how to do things better and, uh, and, and self-improvement that uh, you, you create really great development, uh, great development teams. Okay, so what's a specific example? How can you do code reviews that do them well? Um, well, here's the approach I used. Um, every week I'd get the developers to submit one unit of code or one class um, basically one file, and it depends, the different environments will, will define what kind of unit that we're talking about. 
the criteria really is about code stink. Um, where are you finding the most bugs, for example? Um, if you're doing a new development, which is the most difficult, which is the most risky? You're, you're looking for code which is likely to fail. Um, now some people or some companies will uh, will do a code review of everything and that's a uh, laudable goal um, and initially obviously you should be doing reviews of, of all code but when you get into the maintenance phase and typically you're doing small changes to many units rather than um, big wholesale changes to one unit then what tends to happen is you, you, you don't look at the entire unit and you uh, abrogate that responsibility. You don't really look at the unit as a whole anymore and you don't go back and redesign things a lot unless you have some kind of process which actually enforces that kind of principle. <clears throat> All the developers would have the opportunity to suggest one, one unit of code. From that I would decide um, which one I think was the uh, most seriously in need of looking at. I would then print out all of the uh, all of the unit to um, and give the, a copy of those to each of the developers. And the developers would have half a day to spend half an hour to an hour looking through that particular piece of code and making comments on it about what they think they could be done better or you know where, where there are problems or where there were bugs. At the end of the day, um, we, would, we would take all of those pieces of paper into a meeting um, with all the developers and we would go through basically line by line and we would discuss all of the issues that everyone had brought up and we would collate that into sort of a, a combined document about what we actually thought should be done um, the consensus of the entire group and then that consensus would be given to a developer at the, uh, at the end of the meeting and then by the next week the idea was for, for that developer to have actually implemented the uh, or actually implemented those changes in, in the unit concerned. The important thing of course here is that it, it's effectively a refactoring. It has no functional difference whatsoever other than potentially fixing bugs that may have been discovered in the, in the, uh, in the process of the code review. Um, and, and by doing this we can um, improve our code dramatically um, especially if we, if we look at the areas which are in most need of uh, review.